Greetings, adventurers. Greetings. Uh, welcome to Five Minutes of Your Time. This is going to be uh, episode blank blank. Uh, return from Forgotten Angels Campout. Well, yeah, that's right. We just got back. Uh, well, uh, day before yesterday, Sunday, Sunday. We got back. It's Tuesday, Sunday. So Sunday, yeah. Uh, Sunday, we got back from the Forgotten Angels Campout down in Tampa. The March Campout. They're going to have another one in October. In case you wanted to uh, go and missed it, they're going to have another one. October. Save your dates. Uh, but the dates haven't been set yet, so calm down just a little bit. But yeah, uh, <laughs> we're back from the camp out. And this one here is more than super happy that we are back home. If you were at the October camp out, you saw this little angel with us. And this is our Siete. She's been in quite a few of my videos and shorts and so on and so forth. She's a little lap dog. She loves being with daddy. Uh, when I'm outside grilling like I am now, she. <laughs> uh oh. Hang on, guys. Oh. Sorry. Damn. You're killing me. Good girl. <laughs> All right. Let's try that again. Uh, we got back from the camp out Sunday. Uh, it was fantastic. We had such an amazing time down at the camp out. The weather was nice, breezy, uh, of course, a lot of caterpillars, oh, ninch worms everywhere down there. They were literally falling out of the trees. Uh, you couldn't walk across campsites without having one land on you or something or another. My bike is absolutely filthy. Uh, it needs a good scrubbing down. I had to wash the uh, windows and windshield on Mala's Jeep when we got back or on Brady Chameleon's Jeep when we got back um, actually on the way because it was hard to see but uh, the camp out went fantastic nobody got hurt seriously um, got to hang out with my buddy Shep hey Shep um, who else did I get to hang out with um, sick bastard that mother I tell you what, uh, poor sick, he spent the first day and a half uh, looking for me and was asking folks if they if they knew who I was or knew where I was, and no one knew where I was or who I was, um, but that's because Mala always calls me, or Brainy always calls me by my, uh, my name, not my uh, road name, which is what my channel is named after. But uh, he was walking across the campsite, and Brainy, I gotta get used to that, uh, she called out to me by my road name, oddly enough, and he stopped and looked around and asked, did you say Key Fob? And I said, yeah, who's Key Fob? And then she pointed to me, and he was like, you're Key Fob? And I was like, yeah, uh, why? And I've been looking for you. And then long story short, me and him had been hanging out since, uh, like, I want to say since Thursday, uh, midday or so. Me and him were actually part of a trio that was trying to make the axe throwing target. We made the target, but where we were going to set it up at did not bode well for the person camping behind the target. So we ended up not using the uh, axe throwing target. But I uh, got to hang out with Rainy, and I tell you what, that was a, a shock to me. It was during the live stream, Shade Tree Surgeons li live stream. It's not Bud Light this time, guys. Both Ekkies. Um, during Shade Tree Surgeons live stream, Ra he had to go do something or bathroom, I think it was. But he gave Rainy his, his phone or his camera, whatever it was he was recording with. And Rainy started going around asking everybody uh, who they were, where they were from, and so on and so forth. And he got to me, and I told him we were Kefob and Mala, of course, Kefob and Brainy. But uh, and he was like, oh, I love you. I love your channel. Which, to me, was absolutely mind-blowing. Because I, I picture most of the folks that I interact with down at the camp out, I picture them on a much higher scale and level when it comes to YouTube and everything that goes with it. So to have uh, Shade Tree know who I am and 
talk to me and Rainy to talk to me and uh, to be recognized by some of these what I feel are bigger channels felt amazing felt really good um, I was smiling ear to ear of course if you were watching my shorts school bus you would see that I was on tiger duty much like I'm on Siete duty now I sat with tiger almost the entire camp out which was a pleasure for me um, an honor because I love tiger uh, ever since our first time visiting down at the Forgotten Angels compound. And me holding on to Tiger, keeping him comfortable, fed, watered, safe, is what Cindy and David wanted. Um, as If you've been to a camp out, you know how hectic it can be. Folks are always running around. Bikes are coming in and out, in and out. Cars are coming in and out. The uh, mini bikes are doing laps around the campsites. It's It's fun. But it can be a little hectic, especially for David and Cindy. And Tiger having a place that they can put him where they no longer have to worry where he's at. Does he have food? Does he have water? What's going on with him? Has he gotten out? Because a lot of times he goes into the kitchen and somebody will be going through the kitchen and he'll sneak out. And then they'll have to pick him back up and, or snag him or whatever they have to do. But them giving him to me did two things it one kept tiger safe which is the most important part second it gave me a task it gave me a job it gave me something i knew i needed to do and knew i could do fine do a good job at it so i was more than happy to do that and knowing that it gave cindy uh, so much ease to know that tiger was safe and with me that that was plenty enough that was all the reason for me to keep up with tiger for the weekend and i'm looking forward to doing it again in october as soon as they post the dates i'm putting it in the uh work so i can have work off Ooh. Siete. baby girl's always vigilant when we're out here in the yard cooking uh she wants to make sure I'm safe. Which is the best thing about this little puppy. In fact, she's so sweet. And if I tell her to, she'll turn around and give me all sorts of kisses. Huh, Siete? Siete. You want to give me kisses? Okay, okay. That's your good girl. But <clears throat> we made it back from the camp out safe and sound. Not dry. Uh, well, we were dry. The bikes were not. They were on the trailer. And it's raining in Georgia at the time. So the bikes got wet, but we stayed dry. We were inside. Uh, and I could actually go on for more than these eight minutes that I see I'm already at with this video. Uh, but for everybody, we are back from the camp out. Everything is safe and sound. We are in our normal rotation and routines now. And I got my grill going. Time to cook. I've got some discount steaks for me and Brainy. A uh, big old slab of ham. And some pig feet for the puppies. Yeah, that's right. I'm making pig feet for the dogs. All right, adventurers. I still don't have a, uh, a a slogan or a tag or whatever the hell you want to call it. But check out Forgotten Angels. Go th show them support. The next raffle bike should be, I don't remember the year, but it's a Honda CBX. It's a nice looking bike. Uh, I need another Honda like I need a hole in the head. But. Another Honda won't hurt. All right, y'all.